Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, this video is about PreSonus Iris 3.5 Bluetooth speakers. I reviewed these speakers uh, a year and a half ago on my YouTube channel and quite recently somebody asked me a question if there's, a if there's any kind of latency when using the Bluetooth function to edit videos. I replied to that person that I let them know as soon as I've actually had a look myself. And then I decided I'm just going to make a video out of it so everyone can see if there's latency or if there's none. Um, in a nutshell, there appears to be such a minor latency um, that it really depends on whether it's going to bother you or not. For a lot of people, this latency will not be an issue, uh, but for some people, it may be really annoying. Um, I don't really use a Bluetooth function to edit my videos uh, on these speakers, but um, the latency is kind of there. It's it is just super low, but it's not easily visible. Uh, why don't I stop talking and show it to you guys for yourself? Um, I'm gonna show a footage on Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna show a footage on iMovies. Also, to get rid of any kind of other factors, I'm just gonna be making a video of what's on Final Cut Pro and iMovies using my recording camera, which is that one over there. So I'm gonna pull that forward rather than using the screen record function of the iMac just to avoid any kind of other factors. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new video. Have you guys used Ernie Ball's strap blocks? They only cost about eight to 10 bucks. They kind of look like rubber washers uh, you get for plumbing purposes, but obviously this one's for guitar. And they're really easy to put on. So once you've got your strap on and you've got your little strap nut here, you just slide it on top of it up until it locks in tightly. It just like so. And there you go, it's done, super easy. So for eight to 10 bucks you get two pairs so yeah super handy highly recommend it in case you are thinking about jumping around and swinging the guitar back and forth I probably won't do that unless you've got the actual shallow strapping locks uh, like the ones I have on my Les Paul over here and if you want to do all sorts of acrobatic stuff then I would go with these ones because these are more secure than these rubber strap locks. But if you just want but if you just want your guitar to be secure enough uh, at home or even for gigging as well, these Ernie Ball strap blocks are the perfect solution. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a brand new video. Have you guys used Ernie Ball's strap blocks they only cost about eight to ten bucks they kind of look like rubber washers uh, you get for plumbing purposes but obviously this one's for guitar all right i'm gonna make this video bigger and then play and they're really easy to put on so once you've got your strap on and you've got your little strap nut here you just slide it on top of it up until it locks in tightly it just like so and there you go it's done super easy so for eight to ten bucks you get two pairs so yeah super handy highly recommend it in case you're thinking about jumping around and swinging the guitar back and forth I probably won't do that unless you've got the actual shallow strapping locks uh, like the ones I have on my Les Paul over here and if you want to do all sorts of acrobatic stuff then I would go with these ones because these are more secure than these rubber strap locks. Alright guys, that's the end of the footage. Um, as I was saying before, I feel there might be just a very small amount of latency. Look, if I'm going to keep my focus on that latency then I would probably be able to see that it's there. But 
if I'm not going to worry about it, it's not going to be there. As you can see from the video footage yourself, to me, it's not annoying at all. But as I said before, to some others, it may be annoying. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is going to help um, every other user out there who's interested in the same question regarding latency and the PreSonus Iris 3.5 Bluetooth speakers. Uh, and if you've enjoyed this video, just make sure to give us a thumbs up and also consider subscribing and hitting that bell button so you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you and take care. Peace out.